Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, way back in 1984, yeah, that far back, I was 12 year old. And uh, back then I had my little um, 50 millimeter refractor, you know, a little Tasco it was, department store, yeah, one of those. And, uh, but I loved it. And I used every clear night, I'd be out there with this thing. And um, one particular night I was scanning across the sky. I often did this because I couldn't see much else through this thing. I could see the moon and that were about it. I was scanning across the sky and uh, all of a sudden in the field of view, this lovely little cluster of stars appeared and I was so excited I'll never forget it and uh, because like I say the only the only other thing I'd seen through this little telescope was the moon really and um, obviously later on I found out that what I was actually looking at or what I would found accidentally was the beehive cluster or uh, M44 as it's uh, also known as now, for obvious reasons, um, the Beehive or M44 as is my um, favourite star cluster. Um, it was the first one I ever found uh, by accident. So obviously it's my favourite and I've got a lot of nostalgia attached to this one. So how do we find M44, the Beehive cluster? Well, it lies in the constellation of Cancer the Crab. Okay, now the thing is with Cancer, it's a little bit faint. It's not a um, of terribly bright constellation. So the easiest way of finding uh, Cancer um, is look in the, um, well, we're, we're in March now, aren't we? Towards the end of March, well, at the time of recording this video. So you want to be looking south, uh, southwest. No, sorry, southeast you want to be looking. Uh, and you will look for Leo first. Now, Leo is a really big constellation and it has that very distinctive uh, backwards question mark, if you like, uh, representing the head of the lion. And uh, the bottom star of that backwards question mark is Regulus, okay, a really bright star, the dominant star in Leo. Okay, now if you draw, or sorry, if you imagine you're drawing uh, an imaginary line across the sky in a straight line right across, you'll come to two really bright stars. Now they are the famous Castor and Pollux, okay, in uh, the two dominant stars in Gemini. Now, if you sight directly in between uh, Regulus and uh, Castor and Pollux, um, you will see two really faint stars almost on top of each other. Okay, now they're the like body of the crab, if you like, in Cancer. And our target, the Beehive M44, is bang in the center of those very those two really faint stars. It's in the centre but slightly to the right hand side. Now one great thing about M44 is it's a really bright cluster so you're not going to have any trouble at all seeing it in small telescopes or binoculars and in fact I encourage you if you've got a pair of binoculars to use binoculars even little those little bird spotting binoculars if you like you don't need big um, astronomical binoculars for these uh, for uh, for this target okay and through binoculars, it really is amazing. It looks fantastic uh, through binoculars. Now, if, if you've got um, a telescope, you want your lowest power eyepiece, okay? If you've got a 30 mil, perfect. Get a 30 mil, something like that in there. Uh, you want a nice big wide field of view. Now, if I should, this is, this is M, um, M44 here, the BI cluster. And trust me, Pictures like this don't do it any justice whatsoever. Um, you won't see as many uh, of those stars around like you can see there. I mean, this is a slightly uh, a time-lapsed uh, photograph, uh, long exposure, sorry. So it brings out a, a, a lot more stars. But like just through binoculars, you're going to have that nice black background with this little cluster of, uh, of stars. Um, now, they call it the beehive, purely because some people say it looks a bit like a beehive, others say it looks like a swarm of bees, but I'll, uh, I'll, I'll leave that to your own imagination of what you actually think it looks like. Now, even though uh, the beehive cluster may look small um, through binoculars or whatever, 
you've got to bear in mind this thing is 500 about 577 um, light years away and the actual core of the thing the center of it it's got a diameter of something like 22 light years across now if you don't quite understand what a light year is, um, it's simply the distance uh, light travels in a year, okay? Um, and to give you a, another idea of that, um, think of it a little bit like um, if you were in a car and you were traveling in a straight line, okay? Now this car is a supercar and it can travel at the speed of light. It's the distance you would travel in one year. Now, light travels at round about 300,000 kilometers per second. <laughs> okay, now that's per second. So when we're talking like 577 light years, it's a fair old journey. You definitely need to stock up on those travel suites. The Beehive Cluster is also a really young cluster, really. Um, and when I say young, it's round about 600 million years old. <laughs> now that may sound, what? That, that, that's, that's not young, but in, in uh, astronomical terms, that's just a baby. Um, if you compare that to our star, the sun, um, its age is round about four and a half billion years old. So, you know, 600 million, infant. So on the next clear night, I encourage you to go out and find M44, the Beehive Cluster. Trust me, you'll not be disappointed. It's a lovely little cluster. Well, that's about it for another video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, maybe subscribe because I do do regular uploads for the new astronomer. And while you're there, maybe hit that like button because it really does help the channel. In the meantime, go and find yourself a beehive and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.